where it is is we have to first be ready for relationships. A lot of us aren't ready for relationships, but we get into relationships. And so now people are talking about marriage being under attack. I wouldn't say that marriage or, or that marriages are under attack. I wouldn't say marriages are under attack. I would say that the institution of marriage is under attack, but we're not facing the right thing. And what it is is in the foundations. Who are the people who are even creating the marriage? What do they know about creating a relationship? So if you're going in there and you don't even know how to be in a relationship, for sure that relationship is going to be troublesome. And at the end of the day, it's going to be wrecked. And if it's not wrecked, while it lasts, even if it lasts 40 or 50 years, it's a whole 40 or 50 years of nonsense and a waste of somebody's life, really, because you've lost all those years where you could have been having a peaceful existence with another human being and good, comp good company. And then at, the, at, is it at 70 or 80, what is the whole point? What's actually the whole point of that whole marriage at the end of the day? And so that's why we have to go back to the foundations. And people are also saying, because of the frustrations, they're saying, oh, um, monogamy is the problem. Uh, in our culture, we are actually polygamous. And so if we weren't having monogamy, then we wouldn't be having all these problems. But that's not the problem. The problem is that you don't know how to be a, 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 a proper human being. <laughs> you need to go back and polish yourself. And all of us need to do that. And then they say, oh, maybe because we're having love marriages. You see, the arranged marriages were lasting 60, 70 years. <laughs> and it, all these things just don't make sense because we're in 2024. And if you're talking about arranged marriages, yes, they may be lasting. They may be lasting, but what is the quality of that marriage? How many of those kids have the father's DNA? Because the people are just there suffering through it, and somebody is not happy, and they are finding their sucker somewhere else. So the marriage has lasted 50 years, but it's, it's, it means nothing. you know. And if you go and check who those children belong to, you might find out that they're not even the, the, the children of the, the man. So uh, it's let's not about... Let's not go there. Let's not go there. Why not? It's, no, it's not about, yeah, so it's not about escaping We're finding and saying, that these days, you know that, with DNA. Yes. So and you've been, to told, you've been told that your country is one of yeah. the highest with the uh, uh, paternity fraud Paternity fraud. Yeah. Yes. 